Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You already know when I'm sitting here in this little corner that I've got some sort of review for you. And today we are doing another wig video. I'm gonna slow down on the wig videos just a bit um, because I really wanna work on baby content like I told you guys. But I will hop back on them eventually. We will just have to see. So for today's video, I'm kind of excited to see how this one's gonna turn out because this is a wig that is so out of my comfort zone when it comes to color. Um, so I'm hoping that it lives up to the expectations. So today's video is sponsored by Hair Spells. It's 100% virgin human hair. So the packaging is just this very cute satin bag. And when you open it, the wig comes in this bag here. And then also in the bag comes just like a little coupon. And then like inside, it's like the backstory and like how to maintain the wig and then on the back it's just how you can find them on social media um but that's literally all it comes with it doesn't come with any wig caps it doesn't come with any combs it doesn't come with any um clips and you guys know how i feel about my clips so that's a little bit you know unfortunate but because i have all those things it doesn't really matter to me but yeah we're just gonna jump right in and see what this wig looks like guys this is look look at this color who who am i right and this is what she looks like out of the pack this is the first time i'm seeing it um same with you guys right off the bat i can kind of see that it is very see-through and it might be because of how light the wig is and you guys probably can't really tell okay so inside the wig we have got as you guys know the clips and then we've got the bands to adjust on either side. But um, this wig is definitely different from my other ones because it does not have that big band here that makes the wig more secure. So that's gonna be very different for me. Hopefully this wig fits me. I did ask for the smallest size. Hopefully it fits. I believe this wig is 20 inches. I got the one that is 130% density because you guys know how I feel about like lighter wigs and when they're not so thick and heavy. However, this one might be a little bit too light. It seems like it's also layered. Like this part is like, you know, shorter than everything else. So we'll see how that looks on me. I have no idea what this color is going to look like. Um, but I will say the hair is very, very soft. Enough of the talking. Let's jump right into the installation and styling and see what we can come up with. I always look like such a squid when I put these on and I think it's just immaculate. Right off the bat, not crazy about the fit of it. So let's just go ahead and try to lay this thing. You guys already know that I'm going to be using my got to be. After trying to get all of the excess glue off um, it looks like this in the end and no matter how much I wet it it's kind of like not melting into my skin so I'm hoping that when I do my makeup it kind of alters the color a little bit so it blends more so that is the goal I'll be right back okay guys so this is the end result I ended up trying to straighten it and then I just kind of added a little bit of fluff to the front. I think it's cute. I think it's it has potential for sure. I feel like this color is just so out of my comfort zone and that's why I picked it because I was just like I 
I've always wanted to know what I looked like with this color without damaging my natural hair. So yeah, pros and cons of this wig. Cons, it's very, I think almost too light. I think the perfect density for a wig is 150. The color, you guys, I can't get over the color, so the color is 10 out of 10. The full length of it is gorgeous. It goes past my boobs. It's also very, very soft. Like. It's really, really hard to blend this lace. You guys, I tried my hardest and it's still just a little light. So maybe if they did a little bit of a lighter lace, that would work. It does shed, not as bad as, you know, most wigs, but it does shed a little bit. So again, it depends on how much heat you add to it, how long this wig will last you. Um, another con is it's very, very see-through. Um, and like I said, that could be just from the color of it. Like you can see all of the lace in the back of it and I wish I could show you guys, but it's kind of impossible. But other than that, I think it's a cute wig. Okay, so I ended up curling it and this is what it looks like in the end. I think it looks better curled than it did straight. I just feels like it gives it more of like a natural look. Um, which is obviously what we're going for every time we put a wig on. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I don't... I don't know. I don't hate it. I just don't know if this color really suits me. I don't know. We're learning. We're learning to love it, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll give you guys a full view. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you all in the next.